So I always talk to you guys about things that I'm currently learning and something that I'm learning right now in all of my relationships is, um, or not learning, but something I'm being reminded of that I wanted to talk to you guys about is how all of our relationships are essentially a reflection of ourselves back to ourself. So I've learned over the years that all of the conflicts that I've had in my relationships, whether it be with my parents, with my significant other, with my friends, business partners, acquaintances, whatever, all of my conflicts I've had over the years have all actually been a reflection of myself. And this is a really hard concept for people to grasp, to understand, to take responsibility of, because a lot of people feel like whenever you are looking at a conflict that you're having with somebody else, that you're letting that other person off the hook and that you're blaming yourself. And that's actually really not the case at all. Um, but the first place that we need to start with is ourself and we need to like first understand, okay, what role did I play in this situation? How did I find myself here? What triggers am I experiencing and to what? And also probably one of the most important questions to ask is where is this same conflict showing up in my life in other areas or in my past? Something that I have found a lot about just different conflicts that I've had with relationships that I've been in is that all of those conflicts have been a loop of another conflict of another conflict of another conflict that I've had with other people. And a lot of people feel like, oh, well, this one specific person in my life is actually the issue and I just need to cut this person off or this conflict that I'm having is really because this person did this certain thing to me. And it's really unfortunate because a lot of people totally miss the opportunity for themselves to find growth, to find like hidden gems about themselves that really can help project them on to be the version of themselves that they want to be or a better version of themselves. And I think that as soon as people really started diving into mental health and that became just a really big industry, that people started putting all these labels on everybody. And that totally took away the responsibility that we have in our relationships to look back in the mirror and say, hey, this relationship that I'm having with somebody, this conflict that I'm having with somebody, it's really a conflict that I'm having within myself. And it's just playing out through this relationship with somebody else. And I know for me personally, I've learned thanks to like, the readings that I've done, the relationships that I'm in with like people that are also on a similar path, um, different teachers I've like learned under that, like every conflict that I've had over my life has just been a loop of another conflict that I had with somebody else. And those conflicts, those loops that I have found myself in that I know other people who are on this path of like wanting to be reflective and like be into personal development, like the loops that I have found myself in and that others find themselves in, they all come from some sort of like a core wound. And I think it's really sad when like we have relationships with people and we're like in conflict with them and we just think that it's that person, that person is doing something to me. I need to get away from that person. But it's really sad because we're missing out on the opportunity to learn about ourselves and to unpack and uncover and really try to heal some of our core wounds that we just keep replaying back with just different people, different situations. And I was listening to something the other day that was talking about how within a core wound is actually like the hidden gem. It's, it's the thing that like, if we can just identify it, if we can acknowledge it, if we can, um, come to grips with it, like then maybe we can overcome that core wound and that can be something that we can resolve within ourselves and that that core wound won't start showing up in all of our different relationships. And I think that a lot of people 
miss that opportunity because they're so busy putting a label on somebody else. They are pointing blame at somebody else and saying, you're the reason why I'm having this issue. And they're totally missing out on the fact that like a lot of mostly all of the issues that we're having with other people are just stories that we're replaying from our own selves, from our own programming, from our own wounds, our own understanding about life. And something that I can say that a core wound that I struggle with a lot is my value and my self-worth. And it shows up in all of my relationships. I've talked about this, uh, in the recent videos that I've done about like me trying to find community, me trying to feel like I've been chosen, me trying to feel like I have worth because these people want me in their life. And, um, that core wound not only shows up with like romantic relationships with friends, it shows up in business. I feel like I oftentimes like give away my value, um, and then end up feeling like resentful towards people who took what I gave them because I feel like my value is not that important that I, you know, am not, I didn't put in the work or I didn't, um, sacrifice all the things that I sacrifice and that all of the the things that I bring to the table, um, in a business setting is not valuable. And so I have seen this like core wound of not having self-worth or not having self-value in all of my, Uh, relationships. And it would be so easy for me to say like, oh, well, that friend, you know, like stop being friends with you and screw them or, oh, that um, relationship with that man didn't work out. And because they were using you and they are a shitty part, you know, it's like all of these like things that we tell ourselves, we tell ourselves all of these things about our relationships and they're always, for the most part, most people are pointing the finger at the other person. I need to get rid of them out of my life. I'm not the issue. But I think that if most people could take a second to look at the conflicts that they're having in their current relationships, try to journal about it, try to really sit with it, sit with the uncomfortable feeling of like, hey, I'm upset right now. Why am I upset? Where is this upsetness coming from? If we could really take the time to sit with ourselves, sit with the uncomfortableness, journal about it, maybe we could actually come to the fact that there is a core wound there, that the issue is not actually really with that relationship. It's a core wound within ourselves that just keeps showing up in multiple places. And maybe it's time to really address that. And maybe it's time to acknowledge it, to accept it, to invite it into our lives so that we can really get comfortable with whatever it is, whatever core wound that we're experiencing. And once we can dig deep into that core wound, that's when we really can uncover these, these gems about ourselves. Like I personally, a lot of people feel like, or not a lot, People in my past that are were not on more of like a personal development path in their lives, a lot of them would look at me like, oh, well, you just like forgive people or you're putting blame on yourself about these certain situations. And it's like, in reality, no, I want to grow. I want to be better. I do see patterns that I've like had throughout my life with different relationships or different situations. And I want to overcome those things. And so I am always going to take the approach of like being reflective first, whatever I'm finding some sort of conflict within a relationship or any type of conflict within my life. It's always us against us. Like we are always the person that we are like trying to, um, overcome, be better than like we, we are in all reality, like the source of the majority of our problems. And the majority of people can't even see that because they're too busy blaming other people. They're too busy trying to point the blame at situations or say that like, um, this is just how it is. This is just my life. But in all reality, most of us have just like decided to accept certain stories in our head about others, about ourselves, about life. And that's really such an unfortunate place to be in because as soon as you start accepting 
that things are just the way that they are or my relationships always show up like this or are these people always screw me over? Like as soon as you just start accepting that the problem is everyone else, you really leave out room for your own reflection, for your own personal growth. And when you stop growing, you stop evolving and you might as well not really be living. There's so many people that I know personally that are just kind of existing. They don't really want to do the work. They don't really want to look at themselves. They don't want to do the uncomfortable things. And in reality, you're just kind of a zombie in life. You are not, you're not challenging yourself. You're not learning. You're not growing. You're not moving forward. And I really just personally don't see the benefit of that. And right now where I'm at in my life, like I am constantly, or not constantly, I am seeking other people in my life, in my circles that are trying to evolve, trying to be reflective, trying to grow because the more that we are around other people like that, the easier it is for ourselves to hold ourselves accountable and to have other people hold us accountable. I will tell you that over the past couple of years as I've tried to like dive deeper into my personal development, I've had to eliminate several relationships out of my life, not because I don't love those people, but because I need to be around people um, in this chapter of my life that are also holding themselves accountable, that are also trying to grow. Because the more I realized that I was around people who was not trying to grow, who was not trying to be reflective of themselves, like it made me fall back into a loop that I don't want to be in. I want to always be evolving and changing and growing. And um, I know that everything starts from within me and that these situations, these conflicts, these anything that I'm dealing with that causes me discomfort or suffering in my life, it always starts within myself. And so I wanted to talk about just the opportunity or missed opportunity that a lot of people um, just miss with their relationships, thinking that their conflicts that they're having are actually with other people. And that's not to say that there aren't um, certain relationships that you can have with people where somebody crossed a boundary or you've decided like I'm creating a new boundary. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm not saying like, let's just give everybody a like get out of jail free card for conflicts. That's not it. But I can almost guarantee that if you are having a certain conflict within your life, you need to go to yourself first and see like, where is that coming from? What core wound is coming up? And then a lot of times we can realize like, hey, I put myself in this situation. This was, I allowed this to happen. This wasn't necessarily that somebody um, like did something to me. It was me. And I'm starting to learn so much that like the conflicts that I've had with other people, it's like, I like, it's like, I feel obligated. Like, I'm like, I want to apologize to like these people. I'm like, this conflict that I had, like, although we did this conflict together, we did the dance together, we experienced this conflict through one another. Like, most of the time, it was something I put myself in. It had nothing to do with the other person. And I think that when we have conflicts with other people, like, we are doing some sort of a dance with them. Like, there's something, there's a gym in there for them to learn, and there's a gym in there for you to learn. And those are the types of relationships that I want to be in relationship with. I want to be in relationship with people who are constantly looking at themselves so that when there is conflict, that we can come together and be like, hey, this is where I can hold responsibility. This is where you can hold responsibility. And this is not a me use versus you thing. This is a you versus you and a me versus me. And we are just happen to be doing this experience together. So I wanted to talk about this today as I've been experiencing um, conflicts in my relationships as I am trying to move away from relationships that don't feel like they're beneficial for like my personal growth. And this is just something that I wanted to dive into today because I think that like most people this is something that we all experience is relationships with others. So if you've ever experienced, if you've ever experienced a conflict in your relationship, no, 
All of us have. Um, if you're currently experiencing some sort of like conflict in your relationships, like did you look at yourself first? What did you discover about yourself? I know I mentioned like I'm finding that a lot of my conflicts have in relationships have been because of my own personal self-worth, like my lack of self-worth, I guess I should say, um, me giving myself away because I don't feel valuable, those that, those types of things. So if you personally have found a, um, a core wound of yours through a relationship, you don't have to tell me what it is, but I just want to know, like, have you also experienced this? Because I know based off of me and my circle, my friends, my community, I know I'm not the only person. I just want to know what y'all experienced too. So I'll see y'all in the next video.